This is not an idea that is brand new for Kentucky. It is actually an idea that has been tried in several states and the response by students and parents and personnel in schools has been so wonderful that it's something we should bring here to the Ashland, Kentucky and Fivecoat area uh, for our students that are entering the ninth grade and would like to have a STEM-based curriculum that is challenging and rewarding and a lot of fun for students. North Carolina and other states that we have looked at have many STEM programs. Kentucky has very few. What I saw uh, that was so impressive was the excitement that the kids had just to have the opportunity to be there. In our area in eastern Kentucky, it would be such an advantage to students and to the whole community. STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. I think we've all heard a great deal about it. But what we have found in our research is that bringing students together that are motivated to learn in the STEM areas and that they want to learn in such a way that they pursue project-based learning and they learn independently, they learn with others, they compete, they cooperate, they work together in a learning environment that is extremely exciting. They're going to be with students who have common bonds and are going to be wanting to work together. And I think parents are going to appreciate the value that their students are receiving. The United States is way behind the rest of the countries in science and math and technology and all the other key areas. And I think the more we focus on this, the better we're going to become. And I think uh, starting this early on in high school, at the freshman level on up with them working through the, uh, the community colleges is uh, it's only going to help the United States and then locally. We have a lot of industry right here locally that is constantly looking for good, talented um, you know, engineers or just people with technical abilities and training and, and things and they struggle sometimes to find local, local people to do that and have to go outside of, of the area and find them. More local children uh, that we can access and that can obtain employment with us uh, is a much easier uh, recruiting, retention opportunity for the Catlinsburg Refinery for Marathon Petroleum. They already know the area, they probably already know some of the people there, uh, so developing these specific talents with respect to uh, science, engineering, mathematics, and other technology, uh, that gets them ready, gets them prepared, and it helps us because now we have a local pool of talent from which to draw. A STEM high school would be a major benefit, I think, for not only King's Daughters Medical Center as an employer, but also for the region in a number of different ways. The very uh, mission of the STEM school, science, technology, engineering, and math, uh, that is exactly what uh, industry is looking for. The, the new jobs, whether they're in manufacturing or healthcare uh, or service industries, they all require uh, a scientific or engineering or a math uh, uh, approach to them. 75% of our positions are tied to one of those um, scientific technology, um, engineering, or mathematic-based uh, programs. We probably have eight different types of college degrees. It's not just engineering uh, that uh, we employ in that facility, but they're at wage rates that are far above the average, both for the area uh, and for the nation as a whole. We well, saw one that was working very closely with the hospitals, and those kids were going into surgery. I mean, they were standing in a surgery room learning surgery techniques. I mean, it was getting those kids fired up to want to be, you know, researchers, physicians, surgeons, nurses, you know. What kind of on-the-job training do you get like that in a high school? And we talked with students with 
it's, it's seemingly all different types of personalities. Uh, some were kind of humorous and some were really serious, but everyone we talked with was absolutely sold on what he or she was doing. We have the ideal site that is prepared and it is at our Roberts Drive campus of Ashland Community and Technical College. For it to work at its optimum, I think it needs to be all day. Uh, some of these kids are gonna be traveling some distances. I think it'll be a lot of lost time if it's a half day. Um, I think they'll get more accomplished. Um, I just think they need that total immersion in that atmosphere for that day. They are going to receive an education, a college, two years of a college education, practically as a gift. Students will graduate in four years with an Associate of Science degree from Ashland Community and Technical College and a high school diploma at the same time. The rising cost with tuition today makes school for so many of our kids look unaffordable and I think this would be an opportunity that would give those kids probably a once in a lifetime chance to get a college education that may not have been able to. It reduces the amount of debts. Uh, many students graduate with twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars in school loans. So if you can get those first two years at a much more cost effective rate, but still get that same technical training and then go on for your advanced degree at a university. That to me would be the optimal um, situation for one of my children uh, to make sure that they're getting good training at an affordable price and they not get out of college with a $50,000 student loan that has to be repaid. In order for students to be able to successfully complete this kind of a program, there also needed to be a type of summer bridge program so that they would be able to get the courses that they needed during that. Students that learn mathematics in summer math camps often tell us they learn a great deal about mathematics and they don't even know that they're learning. You know, I think some people wonder where uh, great scientists get their start. Where do they get the ideas uh, that uh, they develop into inventions and to scientific discoveries? Well, I'm going to tell you, a lot of them get started with competition in science fairs, even starting in the pre-kindergarten and the kindergarten and the elementary years and move right up on through high school and they develop their skills in applying the scientific method and they then pursue a career and a lifetime in science and they're the ones that create the great medicines for us and the great inventions and the patents that we all are so happy to use in our society and everyday life. And we are really excited at Ashland Community and Technical College to announce that each spring and in the future that we will be offering a science fair for all of the students in the five co area that want to participate. We can accommodate students from all of the high schools in our five co area to come together through a partnership with employers, parents, students, public schools, private schools, and home schools to bring students together for a full day program in a very intensive and enriched curriculum that leads students then at the conclusion of high school and at the conclusion of getting the associate degree at the same time that they can go into the workforce to be very highly uh, prepared for the career of their choice or to transfer on to another college or a university to pursue the bachelor's degree and beyond. How can anybody look at this program and the success that it's had throughout different communities and different states and not say 
We want that for our kids.